Hey guys, this is Akara, and today I'm actually on my boyfriend's character, but um, we're going to fly around Oldham and we're going to look for the camel statues. Um, the reason I'm on my boyfriend's character is because um, he doesn't have this mount yet, and I do. So there's no point in me flying around on my character. If it pops up, then I'm going to have to run out here on his character and it could be gone by that point. So. Hopefully we'll see a spawn while we're out here flying while I'm doing this guide, but um, before I start flying around, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the route that I normally take. Now first off, um, there are a ton of different places where this statue actually spawns, and the route that I normally go is, um, it covers quite a few of them, but I'm not sure how many I actually miss. but I've never really gone route, wrong with this um, route, so we start at um, you know the main town here, and then we're just gonna fly down. And we're gonna go through these fields. We're gonna come back up, kind of about uh, where Armagadillo spawns. We're gonna go up here, then over the this area. We're gonna go around here through Orsis. We're gonna go alongside the mountain. Then we're going to go through the ruins and then the landing, come by around the coast, fly through here, go around in Neferset for a little bit, come over here, fly alongside the mountain again, then go and tour around in the entrance of Halls of Origination, kind of around in here, and up here, then we're going to come back to Romkehen. Now, you can stop right now and go a little bit further into the video and I might um, attach the if, if I come across the camel statue and I record it and the kill of it I'm gonna put it at the end of this video but until then it's just gonna be a guide of the route so you can stop now if you want to and just read the video description below on more specific information or like you can just see the route that I just told you and just follow that however you want but as I'm flying around I'm going to show you exactly where you should be going and a few of the spawn positions along the way and I'm probably going to talk about a couple things so it might be worth it just to sit through this but you don't have to so it's completely up to you but like I said we're going to start off by going down this direction now um, when you First off, before you even really start doing this, you should download the add-on NPC Scan and NPC Scan Overlay. Now, Overlay will not be very helpful when farming for the Camel Statue because it doesn't come up with an overlay, as you can see. It only has, like, the overlay is what this is, that red dot, blue, green, for these rares right here. Um, but it doesn't do it for the Camel Statues just because there are so many spawn positions where it can come up. So... You should have NPC scan anyways because it's still going to act the same. It's still going to come up with the alert button. And um, the only issue with that is whenever the um, button comes up saying it found the camel statue, you can't actually target the mysterious camel figurine, which is what we're looking for. You can't target it, but you can still click on it whenever you see it. So there's like it's, it might be kind of hard f the first time you ever come across it. Hopefully we'll see at least a fake one as we're flying around so I can show you what I mean. But um, it's just a little tiny figurine and there's actually a spawn location somewhere around in here I believe. Um, I really do hope we see at least a fake one so I can show you what that what it looks like. Um, it's just a little tiny figurine. Um, if you have nameplates up for friendly NPCs, it'll have the um, green name tag above it. If you don't, you can probably press Shift V and a green bar will be above its head. And um, you should be able to find it easier that way. I think there's one right there, some more over there, and some over there. There's quite a few in this general area, though. Um, there's also a spawn right over here in this camp. I think 
think there's one over there. Um, I've, I've seen a couple on those positions. Now, when doing my research, I also saw that there was a spawn location up here, but I've never actually seen it. But just in case, I always still go up here and search for one. But like I said, I've never seen one over here, so you can do whatever you wish. You can skip this part if you want, but I'd still do it just in case. You don't lose that much time. You can turn around right here. Um, so if you don't know anything about this mysterious camel figurine yet, um, you have the chance of when NPC scan goes off, it's either a fake one or it's a real one. If it's a fake one, when you click on it, it'll just turn to dust and you can loot it again for an, a gray item that you can sell for like, I think it's 20 gold. And if it's the real camel statue, then there's a spawn point right here and there's one over here inside this. If it's the real one, um, you will be like vortex in a little tornado and then be ported to this new area a phased area where you fight I think it's Duramu the camel hoarder and at level 90 he should be you know a two shot at best and then he just he drops them out and then you get a feat of strength I would link it but like I said I'm on my boyfriend's character and he doesn't have it so I'm not quite sure how many are over there in Orsis, but I think there's one around in here. And we start going down here towards where the world boss is. And the boss spawns right here. And then there's a couple spawn points around in here for the figurine. I forgot if I mentioned it already. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry if I do that quite a bit in this video. Um, the spawn timers in between, well, the spawn timers are between five hours and twenty-something hours. So that means if you go around and you find a figurine and you click on it and it's a fake, you're going to have at least five hours before another one's going to pop up. And that's just the minimum. It's usually much longer than that. My experience has been not too long, but maybe about 10 hours in between each one. I'm not, I'm pretty sure there's one in one of these little areas around here. I haven't seen one out this area though. Keep in mind phasing as always, and cross realm zone. I can't make any guaranteed... I'm not entirely sure if um, the figurines are affected by phasing. I'd have to look that up and make double sure, because I forgot it's been so long since I've actually farmed this that I forgot. So keep that in mind and once I figure it out I'll put an annotation or put it in the go in the video description and um, let you guys know but for phasing and cross realm zone there's definitely people that are going to be flying around for this that you cannot see because of phasing and with cross realm zone there's always a lot more than what you think. So you have to take that into consideration when you're farming. That um, if you're not quick enough when you're farming around, when you're flying around, that um, you could have missed it to somebody else that was just a little bit ahead of you. There's one that um, spawns over here or over here. I have seen it spawn there. Then you're just going to come up go this way. There's another one over here and in this area. Mm. 
And as long as the figurine is in viewing distance, NPC scan will go off for it, so you don't have to really worry about that or lingering too long in an area for the NPC scan to go off. Just as long as you just as long as it's there and you get within viewing distance, it'll be there. I'm not quite sure what I haven't gone over yet. I went over the spawn timers. There's plenty of spawn locations. I have another video on my YouTube page of where I went over this before, but I d wasn't actually talking during it because um, I didn't have a mic and I didn't really want to talk back then. And also, but that video does have a, v a video of me actually killing Oh, by the way, there was a spawn point back in that building, so don't miss that one. Um, I do have a video of me actually killing Durumu on my priest back in Kata, but I wasn't actually atonement spec like I am now. I just completely skipped those talents at the time, so my um, smites and stuff weren't doing that much damage, and I was a clicker <laughs> then, so don't make fun of me. But um, that video is pretty horrible. <laughs> That's why I just wanted to kind of completely redo this video and show you guys more information, more detailed, and better quality. Because I know that qu the quality of that video is horrible because I had a crappy computer that I recorded it on and a crappy video editor. So hopefully this time it'll be better. I think there's a couple around in this area and it looks like we're pr out of luck for even finding a fake one this time. Um, cause it looks like I've seen quite a few people for my server at least. I'm on a dead server and I've probably seen about four people outside of the town, outside of the town I mean, which is un unusual for me. And this is the point in which you go back to the town and do the cycle again. You can keep doing the cycle like every 15 minutes if you want to. Like I would take a 15 minute break, go get a snack or something, and then come back and do the route again until I found another statue. And then I would uh, come back in about five or six hours and do the scout again. Most of the time you're going to go through fake statues. I think I went through eight and that was actually a low number because most people have said that they went through like 20 or 30 or more before they found their statue. And I've seen some people who are lucky enough to get it on like their first one. Um, I think my boyfriend has went through six so far, which was the amount that I had went through. I think I went through six or eight. It's about the same that I went through before I found mine, and he hasn't gotten his yet. So don't expect it, and don't get discouraged if you don't get it within the first 10 or 20. Just keep at it. You know, persevere. You'll get it. Um, and that's the hardest part about this, is just finding the figurine. Once you find it and you get the right one, the actual boss fight is nothing. You can go in there as a level 80 and still kill him. It might be a little tough for a level 80, but it's still possible. So as a level 90, I'm sure you can one-shot it or two-shot it, just depending on you know what kind of class you are and what gear you are. I think he has 700k health. So yeah, that's like a two-shot. Um, I think that's about it. You have 20 minutes whenever you go into um, that phase. So if you are going on a low level character like level 80, you only have a short amount of time to kill him. Well, I mean, it's still 20 minutes, but um, just be prepared for that. You will be alone when you phase in there. So be careful if you are going on a low level character. But I recommend going on the highest level character you have, but it still shouldn't pose a threat because of how our scaling is now. So if you have any questions, if I've missed anything, it'll probably be in the video description below. So be sure you read that. If you have any other questions, 
um, comment or private message me or find me in game. I'm Akara on Blackwater Raiders. It, that should be in the video description below as well. And I am willing to answer any and all questions that you guys have. If I don't know the answer, I will look it up and I will find it for you. So just let me know. And good luck, guys. I'll see you next time.